Hello YouTube, this is the Demon Turtle, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do simple lifts in Doom Builder today. So I'm going to start in the regular Doom 2 configuration, and then later in the video I'm going to show you advanced features using the ZDoom Doom and Hexen format. So you can just bear with me for a minute if you're not um, modding in Doom 2. Okay, so we're going to start by creating two rooms. I'm going to make them equal in size just to make this exercise kind of easier for us. So I'm going to create a room here and create a room here. Now I'm going to create a player in the left room and he's going to be facing to the right. So if I go into my 3D mode, you're going to see these rooms and they're going to be in the same height. Well, I'm going to move this room. I'm going to select with left click the ceiling and the floor and I'm going to scroll up. And I'm just going to... let's. Let's increase it to about the floor height being the ceiling height. So like this. That looks good. And now, let's say that there's a weapon in here. So uh, let's just throw good old chainsaw. So if you switch into line mode, we're going to create a lift to get from this bottom room over into this right room. So you're going to right click here and then left click, left click, left click, left click. Finally left click there and we have a room in the middle. Now I'm going to go into vertice mode and left click on this guy and just hit delete. We don't want that vertice. And so if we go into our mode here, we'll see that the lift is up here. Now we can either keep it up there or lower it down here. I'm going to keep it up there, but as you can see it doesn't have a texture. And I'm going to give it a lift texture so people know to click on it. So if you go into side depth, you hit lower, and then if you type in the word support, hmm, hold on, there we go. If you type in the word support, you get two kinds of supports. I'm going to throw these ones in, because that one looks, that one fits this level kind of well. And then so, we're going to have to assign this a texture too. But anyway, so here's our lift, and if we went into the game right now, you'd see that we can't really do anything with it. It's just going to take a second for my game to load. So if I went up to this and clicked on the use button, nothing really happens. So first, we have to give it a sector tag like we did with the doors. So go into sector mode or click S, and then right click on the sector. Hit new tag or type in 1. So now the sector has a tag. Now secondly, we need to do something to make it so the lift actually functions. So you right click on this line def in line mode. And give it the same tag so it knows what sector to modify and then go to the drop down menu and hit lift so we want if you want the player to only be able to use this lift once you press s1 but we're looking to do sr because this makes it so it repeatedly does it every single time we ask it to do it so this is switch repeatable lift or yeah lower weight raise so it'll lower down to the ground and then it'll wait a second and go back up so this is exactly what we want to do. And if, if you see we select, if we put our uh, mouse over the line depth, it highlights the whole sector. And that means we did it right. So let's try this out. There we go. We go in here. And we come right back up. So perfect. So there's one more thing I'm going to show you guys before I switch to ZDoom, Doom and Hexen format. So if we go and edit this line depth, we can also do a fast one. So it's lower weight raise fast. I'm lagging a little bit, but you guys get the point. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys how to edit lifts in ZDoom, Doom in Hexen format. Sorry, I clicked on the wrong thing there. There we go. So we're going to start by making the two rooms again. Oops, I messed that up. Alright, here we go. I'm actually going to make the first room, then the lift, and then the second room. And we're going to go into our 3D mode. I'm going to raise the second room all the way up. And then be sure to raise the ceiling all the way up so that they can get out of the lift. So you'll see we're missing two textures here and here. Easy thing to do is look at one of these, press Control C to copy it, and then press the middle mouse button to paste. 
So you press Control C on one of these, and then paste with the middle mouse button. There we go, we have textures now. So we're going to start doing this one a little bit differently. We're going to put the player start here. We're going to start with the lift on the ground and have it raise up. So go into sectors mode, right click, make this a sector tag 1. Then go into line def mode, and we're going to edit this line def. So we're going to have it so the player walks over this line def to activate the lift. So instead of looking for lift, you're going to look for the word platform. And we're going to do platform raise weight lower. So sector tag of 1. And movement speed, we're going to set to 20. I think that's a decent speed. And reverse delay, let's try 60. And lastly, before you test the game, hit repeatable action so that the player can do this multiple times. If you don't click repeatable action, it's only performed once. So let's try this out. That looks perfect to me. And as you'll see here, we're missing a texture. So that's why that was kind of like really weird. We're going to fix that right now. So to fix that texture, you just go here, move this up, and we're going to change this into the uh, support texture that we changed it into before. So I'm just going to type support. Cool. So now there's a texture there. I'm just going to test it one more time. Also, to make this look more like a lift, you can change the floor texture. Type in the word step. You can get little step textures here. Um, let's try the other one. See how that looks. Cool. Okay, so that looks cool. I'm going to try this again, make sure that the texture loads properly. And now you'll see that there's a perfect texture there. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do what we did in the regular Doom 2 format. So we're going to raise the lift, like we did in that, all the way up. And then all we have to do is edit this line def here, change the trigger to player presses use, and change this to platform lower weight raise. So the platform lowers and it waits 60 ticks and it raises back up. Here we go. And that's absolutely perfect. The only problem is we can't get back down without a switch, but I'll do a tutorial on switches later. So that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial. I hope you really liked it. There are more coming out soon. So I just want you guys to keep dooming, keep editing, and have a good one.